But yeah, so I guess what we will do here is we will go ahead and get started. All right. Maybe I can edit that out later or something. This is Blaine Phoenix, once known as teens for daring to challenge the Legend of Ages. After vanquishing the Agents of Truth and stealing the Nexus Blade to the gap between dimensions, though, his thirst for adventure was quelled. We now find Blaine as a professor of darkness. Ominous as that may sound, he just researches the darkness element. Uh, teaching and stuff. Man, that's still too fast. <laughs> God. Alright, that's okay. So then you have to add 36 and 64 in order to get 100. Then the answer for C is just the square root of 100. Great. Now we found all the remaining sides and angles on this triangle. Any questions? Professor Phoenix, what's your hypotenuse? Well, Magma, oh, looks like we're out of time for today. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. See you later. Shut up, timer. Oh, whoops. All right, here we go. Thought we was going to open cards first. Nah, we'll do that another time. I want to just kind of get rolling here. Someone dropped paper here. Someone already always out of the classroom in a rush. Like, I swear, every once in a while, I'll just find, like, entire notebooks and things left behind in my classrooms. I don't know how, like, college-level students are just, like, forgetting about their stuff. I don't know. It's a chalkboard. Probably good for getting chalk all over your hand. It's still a chalkboard. It's still a chalkboard. Yep, it's a chalkboard here, too. In ancient times, one used a magic pencil filled with a strange substance in order to draw on walls. One may call this substance chalk, and the wall a blackboard or chalkboard. Ah, yes, the classroom toilet. Good old Perduality. Ah, here we go. All right. Have you heard the story of the Minotaur's Labyrinth? No, they say a legendary swordsman once battled the great Minotaur Alahed. Alahed wielded the mighty ax Axis. They fought for days on a mountain of banana axe. <laughs> really... Okay. Over a grand treasure until an avalanche hit. They buried both of them deep in an underground labyrinth. Some say the labyrinth still holds, holds the treasure, but nobody's ever found the entrance. Oh my god. I'm not mad. Oh, good. I didn't think you were. Good, because I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, one day your soul will be mine. Well, I'm Fluffykins the bear! This person doesn't say anything. Here's food. Leave it alone, they might come back for it. If you eat it, it'll heal you up completely. You're going down this time. She doesn't know I got a legendary rare card from a booster pack. Looks like they're playing that new virtual card game, Parallel Dax, which I might rename to Parallel Convergence and actually try to do something with it. Hi, Professor Phoenix. All right. Notice me, Blaine Senpai. Oh, no. Oh. I'm watching you, clock. That's right, you tick away. Oh, hi, Blaine. How are things? Hey, Ralph, pretty good. Wow, nice chair. You just get that? Yeah, only costs ten bucks, too. What a steal. Gotta think of a voice to give Ralph. You know what I'm noticing? For some reason, I put a lot of faces on NPCs earlier on in the game, and then I just kind of stopped doing that later on, so I don't know if I should get rid of these to be consistent or what. Ugh, why does Professor Ral have to give us such hard assignments? I should have been done ages ago. There are ten kinds of people in the world. Those who understand binary and those who don't. Ah yes, the classroom mirror. <laughs> don't tell my friend over there, but I replaced a semicolon in his code with a Greek question mark. That has to be one of the most evil things I've ever heard. Funny though, right? Yeah, you bet. Alright. How to be a legendary chopper by Team Mudif and Evan20000. Who are those guys? Bow before the mini crab -a. Looks like someone was playing something called Trouble in Terrorist Town. What the heck would that be? I should probably remove that reference eventually. It's a slideshow of catapults. That's weird. Who was watching Oblivion LPs in class? Might also have to remove that reference. Huh, YouTube videos. On corgis? This monitor's off. Ralph teaches coding, so it's no surprise he has students in here working on some kind of project. This one seems to be some kind of game. Besides me not reading correctly. A news article about the virus bloke. He must be on another of his crazy adventures. Coding. What the flit? All right. Well, good for this student. No. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy. Oh, come on. I've been looking at this line for over an hour now. What's wrong with it? It's a leftover pile of Allegro. It's trash, more or less. Let's see, I, what I think I have to do is... Yeah, I have to, like, go back and make these all face up. Why don't we build a list of stuff? 
that I should fix. <laughs> we'll say Ral's room, computers, face up, ETC, that'll remind me. Build a list of things. If it's something major, I'll go right in, in the middle and fix it, but yeah. Looks like my students are having quite a bit of trouble with this latest assignment. Even private university students are bound to have troubles. Just tell them not to give up. Oh. It's a book titled How to Get Dressed 101. It has a combination lock. Oh no. Before Professor Leonard retired, he left a bunch of his valuables stuffed in these lockers. Anyone who can find the combinations can have them. So throughout the game here, you'll find 15 combinations for these lockers and you'll get some bonus stuff. I think I've got two of them set up right now. Afternoon! That's right. Yeah, we've got magical warp and guards. Some kind of code sample. This doesn't seem too useful right now. Well, okay, let's leave. Never did anything with this, but uh, there's a skeleton in front of this classroom. Hey, a clock! Die, clock! Time's up. Where did you hit that thing? Oh, the flid! There's no room here yet. Another one. There's no time to explain. Another chalkboard. Probably have stuff on it. Generally, be more unique if Team UDF could draw. How to blame? Just waiting on my next class. Any good meetings today? Yeah, never mind. Don't know what I was thinking. Maybe if the English department could calm down once in a while, right? Can't leave yet. I have to host my office hours upstairs still. Nope, still can't do it. Why are you trying? Roll the flit. A vending machine. You can buy some stuff here. I think I, I probably should replace the gold icon with uh, a money sign or something, though. Um, it, for two reasons. Number one, I'm calling them dollars. And number two, my titanium ingots look like this, except it's just gold. You know, gold is gold, of course. So anyway, we've got basic items here. And the Starvik Cookie, which will uh, have a 50% chance to heal poison. And then the Starvik Juice basically is a big MP heal up for now. Oh, you weren't waiting for me, were you? Nope, just hanging out. Ah, well, all right. Afternoon. Got up. Don't talk to me. The play area. At least kids have something to do if their parents are attending class. Swings and doors. This is the coolest. I remember I had the idea to put some, like, air vent. Oh, hey. These are, uh... These are walkable for some reason. Should I leave them walkable? I guess it's not too weird if I do leave them walkable. I could mess with them now. What tile set is this using? I don't know. Inside with beds. Oh. Uh, maybe it's not a problem. They, it doesn't look like it's too tall to walk on. College of EMS advisors are back here. Pretty cool we hired twins, mainly because I'm lazy. Oh, I can't decide whether I want to take Math 453 or Math 446. Professor Phoenix, which one should I take? You like Professor Elmendorf? No, Math 453. It's an intercom thing. The advisors must have all the student records packed in these drawers. Just more records. Same thing. Hey, Blaine, can't talk right now. I have a lot of advising to do. Maybe Bimmy can talk. Hey, Blaine, can't talk right now. I have a lot of advising to do. Maybe Jimmy can talk. No, nope, none of them can talk. Chucking gold bars at vending machines. Yeah, I still want to do that. We still have to chuck a gold bar at a vending machine to get something out of the vending machine and then just leave the gold bar there. This vending machine has the same items. The nursing student leave this up here or something. Wait, is that a button? Well, that must have done something. It sure did, but whatever it is, we didn't do the thing yet. My friend is really upset, upset because she thinks the guy she likes is standing her up. I wonder if he just got cold feet. All these side quests that I'm actually supposed to do something with. So mostly we'll be doing the main story because I haven't set up a lot of these side quests. EMS is so nice, giving us these couches and a place to hang out in between classes. I hope Professor Ral gets here soon. I'm so lost on the next homework assignment. Ral's mailbox. I'm behind in a prank war, so I should find something goofy to put in here. Ral's office. Ugh, metal bars. I should have known. It must have known I was coming, rather. I don't think I've got anything you can interact with in Ral's office. Oh, except this thing. Yep. Whoa. Hey, Pam. Any calls or notes for me? 
Oh, nope, been pretty quiet today as far as I know, working on my historical biographies. That has a nice day for it. It's a nice day for it. Nice. Still up for lunch on the 4th? Absolutely. Noon's still okay? Yup. I already told my trig class I'm postponing office hours that day. Alright, see you then. All the important textbooks are kept in here, mainly the ones we use for research in higher level courses. The printer. Pam's history books. She loves having a look into the past. Hello there, I hope your day's going well. It sure isn't. I shouldn't really be snooping on Pam's computer. Don't do it. I swear, Peter never comes out of his office. Ambrose and his crazy ways to stop students from barging in. The meeting room. Sometimes professors from other buildings come too and argue all the time. Hey, Zan. Has Pam taught you everything about the job yet? Hello. I should be good to go now. Doesn't seem too hard. Yeah, secretaries in accounting here have it pretty nice since there aren't many students. Just beware of the occasional crazy question. Oh, they won't be the ones driving me crazy. Oh. Oh, Zan's going to destroy you. I don't think I've got anything else you can interact with in here. More blackboards. Um, okay, good. Well, that just leaves the grandiose of it all. Plane's office! But first, there's money inside this mailbox here. Ah, the office. Probably not many visitors today. Time to relax. Just some spare books. I don't have to lug home. Notebooks and other stuff is starting to pile up. Should probably clean it after the semester. Even though I said that two semesters ago. Old exams and stuff. We're supposed to keep a year's worth in case a student has questions about their grade. We are. Still can't believe they insisted on giving me a private bathroom. More vacation days would have been nice. Ah, well. I guess that vacation day comment doesn't really make sense. Because it's like, what, what, what vacation days are you going to take? You know what? I hate that dialogue. That's stupid. <laughs> what else should we give Blaine here, everybody? Oops. Vacation days doesn't make any sense. More... I don't know. No, no, chat. Tell me what you think should go in there. In the meantime, here's our phone. Doesn't do anything. Oh, they got me one of those virtual journal things. I should totally try it out on the other side of my desk. Oh! Right when I sit down, of course, ten year. That works. Less crappy students. Now, Blaine is the baby face, Firestar. Right when I sit down, of course. Hello? Blaine, come down! What? Sounded like Ambrose. He's the dean of our department. Should I go to his office? It's in the top left corner? Maybe. Top left corner. Office. Top left. Yay. Let's do it! Alright. Is the game too quiet, everybody? Let me know how the... Ambrose, hello? It's time to make our first save of the new file, everybody. <laughs> what the flid? Oh! Ah, uh, Blaine, impeccable timing. Who the heck are these guys? Che! Look what the cat dragged in. Some kid who's come to die. Ambrose, you meet the weirdest people. I wish they were kidding. We mustn't let them get the artifact, Blaine. Be careful. Artifact? What artifact? Oh, please fill me in on... Watch out. Ah, watch, he's getting away. After him. Follow them. No, let's run away. We don't We don't care. But thou must, for the sake. Ha, we've already outmaneuvered you. Give up, your miserable school teacher. We've got no choice. Blaine, take this. Equipped a katatana. Ah, alright, fine. Let's beat him up. There's not much going on here. Just attack him. We don't have any skills or anything yet. Hopefully, well, okay, good. I tried to design this so you couldn't lose it, but, uh... Sometimes they just beat up Blaine for some reason. They, uh, they get mad. Let's see how the 5% dodge rate is treating me today. Uh, pretty fine, actually. You get ten dollars for winning this here battle of doom on the roof of this school. This can't be. Didn't know you could swing so well. Let's just say I have some prior experience. Gotta love how their voices change in the middle, everybody. Yeah, you think it's that easy? Fools! We're merely stalling for time. 
What are they? I didn't expect you to use this. I'm impressed. Star Fox reference. Hmm, sorry, Blaine, but I'm afraid this is where you get off. Thanks for the help. Remember what I said. Ow. Oh, Ambrose, what the heck? Uh, Ambrose? Tall, evil assassin guys? Yeah, thanks. Just, just keep me out of the loop. Great. What was all that noise? Hey, Zan. I wish I could say. These guys attacked Ambrose and he vanished. Mentioned something about an artifact. Artifact? Where is he now? I don't have a clue. All I know is- Wait a minute. That thing he wanted me to remember. He must have not- He must- He must- Jeez. He must have meant not to let them get whatever this artifact or English is. That guy, I swear. Wherever he went, he doesn't have the thing. I have to find it, I bet. Do you have fun with that? I guess I'll go call the police? Nah, young Ambrose, he doesn't want this thing to be loud. You know, despite the whole ninja assassin murderer thing. For Flynn's sake. Okay, I'll be around. Ugh, now I wonder where Ambrose hides some kind of artifact. How is this thing repaired so fast? Get wrecked, Firestar! That's right. Just a bunch of books. I'm not even surprised Ambrose was stacking tables on other tables. Hey, Nightmare. I see Rainstorm, Firestar DJ, Shadow Wisher. A lot of visitors today. A mystery box! This must be where Ambrose stored the artifact. Nope, just a bunch of fishing DVDs. And Ambrose doesn't even fish. Nothing really interesting in here, nor here. There's no way I'd be able to crack Ambrose's login password. The guy probably has, like, some random 24-digit code he memorized. Oh, Rail Project is here! It's a clock! Clock! Wait a minute, there's a note inside of it. 24, 1. Oh, nice! The clock is telling me how many times to punch it! <laughs> 24 punches! Ah, ah, ah. All these private bathrooms really necessary. Why is there a vending machine back here? There's a light coming from here. Is it possible to get inside? Always wash your hands. No. Oh. Some kind of note inside the vent. 34-2. Well, the flid. Wash your hands again. The vent was dirty. There's a combination lock. Ah! Oh, we've got these numbers so far. We just need the last one. It's in here. Some kind of note inside the plant. 4-3. We did it! It worked! Well, the Flid, were we on the third floor? Ambrose, you confuse me sometimes. Get money. There's money. What the heck is this? The bearer of the Steve shall receive immortality and greatness. What? What is this thing? Some kind of crystal? Could this be the artifact Ambrose was talking about? It's a giant crystal. Gather all six Steve in order to unite the elements of Akbar. For the sake, what did Ambrose get himself into? Six Steves? Well, as much as I hate to admit it, looks like I'm jumping into another crazy adventure. But who could the enemy be? Oh, it's the Zan. What's going on? What's this thing doing here? Your guess is as good as mine. You don't have any idea who might be trying to hurt Ambrose, do you? Or what this crystal is? No clue, sorry. Ah, alright. Now it looks like I'm going to have to do some research on the guys who attacked us. You mind taking- you mind making sure nobody runs off with my English skills? I think I can manage that. I'll be around the office if you need me. Is that locker- locker a TARDIS? Time to call an old friend of mine. The office phone should work just fine. Ah, attack! Who put this here? All oh, the fled! It did damage! Uh, actually, what do I have you saying right now? Nothing strange to report here, okay. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Alright, we did it. 
And by popular request. Who put this in here? Must be Rao playing another prank. Oh, same thing, basically. We washed our hands, though, so it's okay. Well, here's our office phone. What number should we call? We should call 8675309, or we could call some other number. But why? Because I said, well, screw you, maybe I want to listen. So what? I'm the voice in your head, do as I say. You're saying I've lost complete control of my life! Yes, I am. Oh. Oh. I see. Oh, never mind. But seriously, call the number. All right, all right. We'll call the number. Hello? It's me. Oh, hey, dude. Haven't heard from you in a while. How's the teaching get going? Pretty good. Hey, uh, listen. You know that thing we used to do? Yeah, it's, uh, it seems like some weird stuff is happening. Sweet. Does that mean what I think it means? That's right, Kolarovich. It's time for the UDF to reopen for business. Oh, oh, I don't have a title screen yet, so you get this piece of crap. Oh, wow. Oh, it's Arpaga. Pretend there's some cool logo here, and I didn't even bother to change the text size. Oh, wow. What an amazing title screen. Kolarovich said he'd meet me outside campus today. Let's do it. We can also save now. Let's do just that. So I didn't see any errors in the first part of the game. That's good. Well, down we go. Now we can explore Marate more of the campus. Also, I think I've got him saying something different. Uh, you still sail? Yep, the seas could never keep me away. But let me know if you ever need to go somewhere and flight ain't good enough. He's an Irish sailor, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's see. I don't think I have Ral saying anything different. Nope, same thing. Okay. I forget when Ral changes his dialogue. Alright, so we can make it to the lobby. You see a little security center down there. Professor Kane told us to close up the labs while he sets up the new equipment. If you need to schedule a lab, use the Z building. Oh, we can't get in. The new labs are closed off. Look, there's cage doors there. A useful room for tutoring. Yeah. Yeah. Guess I don't know if they're saying anything. Here's the English class hall. An English lecture hall. No reason to go in, though. Sorry, I don't have time to talk. I have to prepare for an important speech I'm giving. Sorry, I don't have time to talk. I have to prepare for an important speech I'm giving. Seriously, please. It's a huge presentation. Come on, let me prepare a piece. <laughs> please do not enter Professor Zanich's room while presentations are going. Oh. Good afternoon. You can't go that way. Hmm, notes. Noted. It's a suggestion box, but it's empty. No surprise. An English lecture hall. Same thing, basically. I heard one of the new super thieves was spotted at North Westless. Did you hear about the weird cave in North Westmore? Something about a glowing treasure or something. Well, I'm not remembering any of these things, so we're going to have to like come back to the early game and read all this stuff so I remember what to build. Hello, be sure to tell your friends I'm selling dresses. Hand-stitched. Ah, fancy. I'm going to police your grammar. No, you're not. Oh, okay. Tables! Do you see the map? Do you? I bet you do! It's right in front of you! The map! Let's go place it in the map! Let's go there seven times! Map! Map! Say map! Map! Okay. We're okay. Hey, English office. Welcome to the English department offices. As if you couldn't figure that out. Find the computer room! Oh, you found it. Never mind. Come on, blasted printer. Nothing on these computers yet, except some of them. There's one on this one. It says this one has a single message written on it. The first five prime numbers. Oh. This one has something else on it as well. The next three prime numbers. Oh. If you need tutoring, the English Writing Lab is open all afternoon. Just ask Professor Febs which room it's being hosted in. I want it. Afternoon. Clock! Sorry, you can't break it. Unless you buy the Extra Clocks DLC for only $24.99. I'm sorry, but you cannot enter the English advisor's office while he's out. Secrets don't make friends. Whoa. 
toilet. Toilets everywhere, but you're not interested in washing your hands. No, don't go in the female bathroom. Stop it. Hey, Penny, how are things around here? Oh, hi, Lane. Pretty quiet around here. Fabs is work. Looking forward to his next argument with Ambrose, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. A lot of scattered papers. Hopefully not student records. Phoenix, what are you doing over here? Hey, Fabs. Just wandering about. Figured I'd stretch my legs. Maybe we could have stretched your mind if you didn't work for that snot Ambrose. Abstract algebra number theory. Stretch A. Stretch A! My mind enough. Thanks. For the sake. Ah. Say, uh, if you see that mongrel Ambrose, tell him you can't convince me to sign the deal. Our departments don't need to be any closer than they have been. Like a lot of graded papers with low marks. Uh oh. Oh, hey, Evan. Nothing but tables, ladders, and chairs in this room. Maybe stairs would be a good fit, too. Except not ever again. Freaking. Oh. Actually, wait a minute. Okay, no. Okay. Did I go over here? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, those are the English offices. Not much going on in them right now. Probably more later on. The students walking typically don't say anything because of the weirdness where they don't stop. There was a plug-in, I believe, where you can freeze them in place, but... Eh, they don't pay me enough for this. Oh, well, go away then. There's an awesome dojo on Stonehenge Street. It's tough, rough, but... If you get on the master's good side, you'll learn a lot of valuable techniques. You hear about the Misty Forest? Apparently another kid went disappearing in there. It's tough. English. I hate those Vinecrest snobs always pranking us. What douches. Yeah, that's right. You can't run anymore. Get wrecked. Now you have to follow me. You Inuyasha look like. Alright. I was one of the first students ever accepted here. I just like to stop by every once in a while to see what's changed. So are these walkable as well? Yeah, they are. Okay. Alright, I suppose. I already talked to you. Pertuality College of EMS, achieving excellence in the fields of engineering, mathematics, and science for over 60 years. Luckily, everyone is usually too afraid of math and science to cause a ruckus in here. This job's a breeze. Franker Z, 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 Woof, I'm a dog. Hum, wow, much dog, very bark, woof. Oh, wait, never mind. I remember now I'm a person. Hi. Looking for English, upstairs and to the left, science up and straight, math up and to the right. He must not know we work here. Hello there, let me know if you need assistance. Hey, Professor Phoenix. Oh, we're outside G now. College of Engineering, Mathematics, and Science. Fertility College of EMS, dedicated to its founder, Gokarna Rajet. Oh. A tank? Ambrose! Wow, this red car sure sucks. I hope nobody we know is driving that. Fish? There's a fish shop here with bread. You can buy deep fried fish or fish chew. Let's wait a minute. Deep fried fish heals everybody. Five health, it costs 12. The fish juice heals five. For one person, it costs eight. Well, that's a crappy deal. I should change that. Let's say fish shop. Okay. What a terrible deal. Alright. We don't have too much going on here right now. I guess I should show off the menus and everything since uh, it's technically supposed to be a playthrough. Mm -hmm. You can equip text in this game, as we'll find out later on. You have options, as we'll find out later on. You have an inventory, as we'll right now, later on, find... Okay. Hey, dude. So what's all this about starting back up? There's something going on. It has to do with magic. You mean those new magic games? No. These guys seem like they were out for blood, not sport. And now I've been entrusted with some crystal. Sounds pretty wicked. Who are we hitting? I'm still trying to figure out who they were, but I'm pretty sure they used a doomsday spell. Doomsday? But, uh, yeah. The only guys we know who used those in the past. The Agents of Truth. We own those guys, though. 
They went out of business years ago. We were still in high school. I know, I know. Look, just humor me for a bit here. I was gonna use my break to go check their old hideout. Can I get you to tag along? Heck yeah! If they're still around, I've got some what new weapons I'd like to test out on them. Let me know when you're ready to go. Well, we're freaking ready. Also, courtesy of Kate, we've got some new, uh... We've got some new Kolarovich faces here. Let's check it out, I'll drive. Oh, oh, it's an old place that we saw before. Are we leaving? No. Feels weird being here again. I was just in high school when Sol and Indrafetti went crazy trying to blow up the planet. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. Go in? No. Okay. Mission one. Although the agents of truth have long since been defeated, you know something may still have something to do with the attack on Perduality. Search the agent's old base for clues on anything that may implicate them or lead to the identity of the attackers. And be sure to hunt around for extra items. The Mega Man Legends reference. Ah, good. Glarvich is in our party now. We also get five special rounds of ammunition. This Kalarovich here has ammo tech. He's also got the T1931 Smirka. Well, there's a locked thing over there. What? Huh. Did I hit it already? I don't think I did. Huh. That's weird. Why was that open? Huh. Is it default to... Ah, oh, here. I'll fix that with an easy... Two carrots. They heal you for two HP, and if you use them in battle, they will boost your speed for two turns. I like the music too, Rainstorm, but uh, I think it's it's part of the default RTP, so like everybody's going to be using it. I might have to replace it. A hole in the wall. Oh, don't do it. Now nah, let's do it. It's just a game anyway. Not like you can get hurt from it. You got a dollar. Wow. Oh, boxes. Let's go through here. Old laboratory. Oh no. One of the agent's old laptops is still passworded. Can I access this from the side? Oh god, man. Alright, we're fixing that one right now. <laughs> that one's easy. Except it's, uh, lagging very, very much because of stuff. Okay, there we go. Two, two. Oh. Crawl through? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. The blasted UDF. They're always getting in our way, but the boss thinks he's found a way to finally get rid of them. The Megalo Devastation Ray. Huh. Brings back memories. Too bad for them that they didn't get the chance to try it out. You got a small key. There's a mysterious flame over there. Which is hopefully blatant enough to get people to check it out. Can't go through here, there are lasers. We'll have to find out another way to progress. Perhaps by using this key on this door. Now we're on the second floor. This looks interesting, let's go through here. Mulvan Cave. This is where Solon and I had our huge minecart fight. Good thing I was able to win. I need to go there again. Alright, we did it. Alright, let's push this box out of the way and progress. Push this box out of the way and progress. Oh no, we can't do it. It's locked. And there's a couple enemies running around. I gave the rats three, 
three dollars each as a drop so you can get a little bit of extra cash if you feel like fighting this one needs a special key two two oh boxes uh, no DJ you were the one who suggested it should be a dungeon later on <laughs> Oh, the Starvic Juice! Did you think chests could only be open from the front or something? The key to Solon's office was here at one point. Can't remember what I did with it after using it. Well, dang. There's nowhere else to go. Guess let's go down this rope. Oh, no, but we can't go back up. It wasn't long enough. We can't reach it from here. Down we go. You can reach this one for an arbitrary reason, though. All the references. Yep. Yep. Darkness. It's fried. It's fried. Yum! 2-2. Two, two. Hmm. Starting to see a pattern here. Don't step on those things. They, they hurt. 2-2. Two, two. Hmm. Now, well, there might be a hint as to what the password is, but here's the ancient soul database been used recently. Project Omega still needs to be completed. Transport the crystal to the nearest PTD before the police get suspicious. They're starting to snoop around. That's last year. Should I look for more? There are a few logs still accessible. Trefetti was able to move the server to the backup flunge. Deleted all the world data off the main console. We're almost done wiping the whole thing. Did Solar write this? Why are they deleting all their own data? Trefetti and I found it. The sucker's bigger than MSM said. We're keeping it here, but if the police keep watching us, they'll have to be here to pick it up in no time. Suggested we moved it to the PTD, but MSM isn't still fond of the plan. He told us to keep still for now. PTD, MSM, I have no idea what, the, what any of those are. I don't see the information on them around here either. Finally came back to finish the job. Crystal's still where it's supposed to be. MSM was right about the feds, but everything should work out. Confirmed what Trefetti... Confirmed with Trefetti that this Ambrose guy has what we want. We get him, we finish the mission. MSM is going to pay big for this one, and all we have to do is deliver some glorified jewelry. That's last month. Whatever happened to Ambrose did have something to do with Solon and Trefetti. But who's this MSM guy? Those are all the logs we can access for now. Let's go back up this rope, and we're back here! Hey! Well... If you're a fan of uh, roundabouts, you should have the password by now. It worked. <gasps> Cat pictures! Oh, look at the kitty! Snoop through files. Most of them have already been cleared out, but it looks like there's still some leftover Allegro project. No wonder they abandoned this computer. What crap. Disable the lasers. Still read the book here for some reason. In fact, let's put something in the way so you can't. As it still annoys me. It's because it's on a table that you can read it from a little afar. I also want to do that with this thing down here. Just put nothing events there to stall them out. Alright. We got smoke here! Come to the darkness. Blaine Lord Void Orb! He also got some HP and some MP. Attacks are the extra skills you can use in battle. Some cost MP, some cost TP, or some even may cost ammunition or other items. However, each character only has a certain amount of text slots found in the tech menu. Be sure to equip new text to test them out. Mix and match different abilities for multiple strategies later on. Whoa! Wow! So we got Void Orb! Opens a portal to draw on the enemy's soul, inflicting darkness damage. Can you just skip Void Orb? No. It is impossible. Let's fight a rat. Let's test out this here Void Orb. They're not going to do, like, anything to you. They do have the ability to use Quick Stab, though, which is a fairly uh, tough ability. Oh, we got a critical. 
But yeah, these are pretty easy free fights just to kind of get people used to the battle system. I mean, it's no big deal. People are going to be familiar with the RPG Maker battle system, but for new players like Epi or something, you know. Alright, so you give money if you beat him, like I said. See if we can trick this thing into going away, because I want the, uh, I want the treasure chest. We can also unlock this now. Actually, let's unlock that first, because what this allows us to do is go all the way around here and access this wall you couldn't before because you're forced to push this uh, box down here. Now you can get the special key. It's unlocked. Alright, what I decided to add here is, uh, someone really use this as a bed? Oh, everybody's healed up! There's a clock in here. Now yeah, we better just ignore it. Wait, oh, is that ticking? Oh. Oh, the sound of ticking makes me mad. Clock! Just killing some time. Die, rat. Dang, that highbrow. So if somehow the player has been ignoring all the clocks up until this point, I finally make you do something with it. Found a health drink. It recovers 10 HP. Good for us. Stupid clock. A treasure chest! Oh no, it's just a dumpster. Actually, let's heal up again. So this is what forces you to get Void Orb, this thing here. What's this thing supposed to be? This looks like a job for Void Orb! Whoa, where'd you learn that? It was downstairs with that blue flame. Didn't you notice? Oh, sorry, I must have missed that. Mmm. Alright. Don't forget, boss said the new path was alternate or something like that. Found a pep talk potion! Found a phantom mask! Give a phantom mask to Kalarovich. Uh, what is it? It's a head, right. Gives you plus one defense. Does it? What happened? Oh, yeah, this. That's weird. It didn't show up the first time. Huh. I, 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 I don't know. There's some weird things. I swear it didn't show up the first time. Some weird things going on in this engine every once in a while. I don't know. Uh, okay, we'll make another save. Alright, so alternate. How this works is there are two types of floors here. You have to keep alternating between the two types of, fl of floors. Because if you don't, you'll be warped back. So the trick is to try and, and gooby you by getting you used to the paths that you see on the screen. Whereas that's actually not the solution at all. Jaeger Solon! <laughs> Blaine Phoenix, I never thought I'd have to see you again. It's been what now, ten years? Not long enough if you ask me. I thought you went off somewhere and disappeared forever. <laughs> the same old crap. You better listen well, Phoenix. Stay out of my life and stay out. I'm not reliving the terror you caused me. Oh, look who's talking, mister. Let's try blowing up the world with a death ray. Now it's your deal with Ambrose. Who are you working with? Looks like we were unlucky. We didn't know, we didn't expect you to know Ambrose. But you know me better than that, Phoenix. I ain't talking. Shouldn't the Phantom Mask give you plus one evasion? Eh. <laughs> All right, beat him up. He must die. You're going down, Phoenix. I'm gonna do what I should have done 10 years ago. Nope, it didn't go first. I don't understand why this attack won't go first. Maybe someone watching later on YouTube can help me figure this out. It has something to do with something that Yonfly did, because it worked at one point. I've got this attack that boosts your speed to, like, ludicrous amounts. Like, these guys have single-digit stats. So, this quick-stab attack that sh has, gives you 99 speed should always be going first, but I can't get it to go first all the time. 
I have no idea what's going on with it, and it's making me mad as heck. Go another turn wailing on him. Then he uses Defense Cider. Does damage equal to your defense. So if you up your defense, it actually does more damage. Also, dang, he's really kept up. And he has a pretty good defense. Looks like I'll have to give this guy a present. Kalorovich equipped Speed Bullet. Hey, dude, you should totally try out that new skill you just learned, too. Your surprises don't scare me. Bring it on. Let's do it. Let's use our special attacks. We've also got Speed Bullet. Relies on attack and agility to do damage. There he now goes first. Speed Bullet, faster than Hyena. I also I buffed uh, Speed Bullet because it was just so bad earlier. It was just garbage. Do another round of special attacks while we've still got some HP here. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. One more round. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save. Because Kolarovich's attack spends ammo. Which you have a limited amount of. So you got to be a little careful here with how you spend it. Alright. He's weakened, though. Oh, we got a crit to finish him off. Fantastic. This battle is optional. If you lose, you just miss out on Solon's ring. No. It can't be happening. Not after this long. Game over, Solon. Now cough up the info. We're not messing around. Funny. Neither are we. Great. Now what? what? A distraction? Better escape. Oh, crap. It was a trap. Quick. Let's find a way out. There's no telling what they have coming for us. Well, first you get $10 for finishing the mission. Crap. Solon already wiped it. No clue where he's headed now. Bunch of garbage. Probably nothing useful here. Let's just get the heck out of here. Looks like we can use this vent to escape. Something didn't load in. What the heck? Where's my fog? Where's my fog? <laughs> my fog's not there. It should be there. Uh-oh. My fog is... What the heck? The file name got changed. No, it didn't. It's right here. Where's my fog? <laughs> huh. My fog is gone. I don't know why. I wasn't finished with them. Why did I have to come back? Do you have any idea how long I've longed for revenge on Blaine Phoenix? None of that matters to me. It has nothing to do with your task. So what? For ten years I've been... Maybe... I didn't make myself clear. All right, all right. Truffetti's tracking down your stupid crystal anyway. Chill. Hmm. Did you wipe your data? It's gone. Nobody can trace what we're doing anymore. Soon, the six will file through here and the moons will align once again. Whatever. I'm going to find your Fetty. Miserable mortals with their feelings. How unnecessary. They really do squirm about with the most trivial of things. Take good note, Lilith. See, the Firestar, I shouldn't have to make a note of it and look at it later because it worked yesterday. Like, as early as a day ago it worked. Mission won't complete. Oh, that could have gone better. Can't believe out of everyone it could be. It had to be Solon. Yeah, that's a bummer. What should we do about it? There's only one thing. Kolarovich. I need you to call the Cherubs and Lagrange. The gang has to get back together. The UDF must reunite one final time. I can't wait to see what they've been up to these past few years. Uh, actually, before I came here, I tried getting a hold of them. They aren't around anymore. Dang. Well, better get back to my office then. I'll call you when I think of something else. Let me make this save and look at this jank. Because I'm not crazy. This worked as early as yesterday. See? Here it is! It's right here! <laughs> but it didn't work on the warp-in? 
It worked yesterday on the warp in. That makes no sense. That's not fair! What the heck caused that? Is it the lighting effect? What the heck? <laughs> There's not even another event running or anything. Like, what the heck would be causing that? I don't understand this engine sometimes, dude. It just, it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do sometimes. I don't get it. Why didn't it work then? Should I make this one video or do multiple parts? Hi, Professor Phoenix. Oh, hi, Cardalia. Please come in. What can I do for you today? I just had a few questions about some of the notes we took yesterday. I think they'll be useful in the license exam I have to take soon. Well, I should be able to help. Even though standard tests can be pretty... Oh, those standard tests can be pretty rough. Even I have to think about what's on some of them. Study game! Your students have questions, but you've been distracted. Try to accurately help them. The questions may get more abstract as the semester progresses. They will. Just wanted to make sure of some stuff. So the angles in a triangle always add up to 180, right? Yes, they freaking do! I was working on one of the story problems you gave us for homework. Consider a triangle with sides A, B, C or opposite angles A, B, C respectively. Let A equal capital A equal 13, capital B equal 25, and lowercase c equal 4. So this isn't a right triangle. Freaking skippy, it's not. So you have to find the remaining sides with the law of sines and the law of cosines. Thanks, just one more if it's okay. Does every right triangle have to be a 30-60-90 triangle? Or a 45-45-90 triangle? No. But those type of examples are seem to be what you look at most in high school, so I do hear that a lot. I think that should do it. Thanks, I'll see you in class tomorrow. Have a good day. Sounds good, you too. Huh, <sighs> now to find out what to do about Solon. There has to be some way I can track him and find out who he's working with. Maybe I can think of something to search on the internet. On my computer. Right there in the corner of my office. Contacts clues! Now, where would I find information on Solon and whoever he's working with? Ah, probably swindlechopper.org, which sadly has nothing on it. I still have to do something with that. We can look at catterday.gov. I still don't get why the government had to raise taxes to make this site. Alright, let's try twitch.tv slash teamudf. Oh, hey, this guy's making a game live. Pretty cool, but it doesn't help me with my current situation. Let's see. Let's try WrestleMania.com. Huh, it's just a picture of Epi. Villains! Wait, the villain wiki! I, I mean, was my idea. Okay, anyway. Let's see. Where's some information on Solon? Oh, hey, his page is actually still being updated. Let's see what it says. Following his defeat at the hands of Blaine Phoenix, Solon went into self-exile where he remained hidden for nearly ten years. He only recently was spotted at Numeron Neon talking to a mysterious figure. Numeron Neon? That's the nightclub on Conebon Street. That's not too far from here. After my office hours, maybe I'll check it out. Oh, never mind. Looks like I can go now. They just ended. Also, shut up, timer! Oops. Oh, time to go drive my red car that's parked in front of the building. Red car. In front of the building. Yeah, this one right here! Where to? We can go to Blaine's suite. We can go back to Perduality. We can go to Blaine's suite. Up we go, floor six, room 19. Home sweet home. All that prize money I got from stopping the Agents of Truth years ago really paid for this place. But I guess someone had to be able to host all the department get-togethers. Oh, closet for guest coats. Closet for guest shoes. They're organized, you see. We have a piano with money in it. A dollar. A dollar in your piano. Yep. It's a washing machine. Woo. And there's a clock. Don't mind me. I'm just wasting time. Blaine's home computer. Yeah, nice little view out here. Here's the guest bedroom. I don't think I indicate anywhere that this is the guest bedroom. Oh, well. I didn't put many descriptive things in here, actually. Only a few stuff. Math books. Probably could put a few more. Like, there's nothing here in the kitchen at all. My room! 